This is BBC News. I'm Celia Hatton. Our top stories. South Africa lifts overnight curfew rules, saying the country may have passed the peak of its fourth wave of COVID-19 infections. Wildfires rip through parts of Colorado in the U.S., destroying hundreds of homes and forcing tens of thousands of people to evacuate the area. Gusts of 100, 110 miles an hour can and have moved this fire down a football field in a matter of seconds. Very little time to get out. Kenya's education minister says gay and lesbian students should be banned from boarding schools. We'll get reaction from Nairobi. And they've been ringing in 2022 in New Zealand with a light show in Auckland Harbour. As the world prepares to see in 2022, many New Year's celebrations are being cancelled or scaled back. That's because many countries are recording soaring COVID caseloads due to the highly transmissible Omicron variant. But there is some good news, as officials in South Africa say the Omicron wave there may have peaked. As a result, an overnight curfew that was imposed as part of a package of restrictions to try and stop the spread of infections has been lifted. The government there says the Omicron variant, while highly transmissible, has seen lower hospitalization rates than previous waves. Professor Barry Shub is head of the South African Ministerial Advisory Committee on Vaccines. He gave us his analysis of the situation there. 